So this question says, in the figure above, lines L and M are parallel, and lines S and T are parallel. So what I'm going to do before I continue reading is just make little indicators on my lines that they are parallel, because that's what the question told me. Next, it says, if the measure of angle 1 is 35, so again, I'm going to put a little angle symbol here and put 35 degrees. What is the measure of angle two? So then I'm gonna put a question mark here. You could put an X or a Y or whatever variable you choose. So this is a diagram question. And this is a really great diagram question because it really follows the rule or the strategy that I teach, which is with a diagram, you want to first of all label with provided information which we did, right? We replaced the angle one with 35 degrees. We placed the question mark at angle two, so provided info. And number two, which is more, I shouldn't say more important, but usually the step that's gonna get you to the answer is to label with any other relevant information you know. So in this case, right? We know that we have two parallel lines in L and M, another set of parallel lines in S and T. We know that that angle one is 35. So what else do we know, right? What's the other, what's that any other relevant information? So what I like to tell students to do is before looking at the answer choices, whenever you have a diagram question, just fill out as much information as you possibly can. So because I know this is 35 degrees here, I also know that this is 35 because of vertical angles. And because that's 35, I know that this angle here is 145. And that's because of same side interior angles. And that means that this angle here is 35 degrees. And that's because of same side interior between these two parallel lines. And that means that this angle here, which is the supplement of that 35 degrees, is 145 degrees. And that's angle two, so that's gonna be my answer, choice D. Now recognize you could have done this in a lot of different ways. I uh, definitely could have gone straight from angle one being 35 to this angle here equaling 35 because of corresponding angles. And then that could take you down to this angle being 35, again, because of corresponding angles, and then over to angle two, right? There's lots of ways to do it. You don't have to do it exactly how I did. What's most important, however, is when you have a diagram question, don't attempt to do it all in your head. Actually write it out on the test, fill in everything that you possibly can. And typically when you do that, it'll get you to the right answer or a lot closer to, a lot closer to the right answer than simply relying on the provided information.